working on Clancy's place. Okay. <laughs> so I release him every once in a while. Uh, I toss it. I say okay, and I toss a treat. I also will release him to play with other dogs if they're around. So okay, go play. I don't know if he didn't even find it, but he's a good boy. He went back on there. And so I'm not even having to say place at this point. He's just kind of going there, but that's that's the word that I would normally use. So you can toss a treat on there every once in a while, and then um, and then just walk away. So it's something that we use. So he can't see me now. I'm behind the island. Um, you can use it when you're making breakfast. Um, getting a coffee in the morning just to promote good manners in the kitchen. And we'll also use it when we sit down. So if we sit down at the table, we'll have him go on his place. So he still needs to be rewarded every, um, probably every 45 seconds, almost a minute. Um, and just depending on his mood, obviously, if he's really hyped, then we'll do it more quickly, more frequently. But by rewarding, I'm just saying, like, you're just tossing a little bit of something, something on there for him, just to tell him to keep going. Um, and then, and then I'll release him after about five or ten minutes. Um, but we're still, so that's like ten, ten treats, right? So, um, just little pieces. And he's, even if he moves like that, that's fine. So he's still on the bed. He's kind of in his down, kind of holding it. I think it's been about 30 seconds. He's getting like a little bored, so I'm just going to toss him another one. You see him start to get squirmy. That's a good sign that he needs more reward to maintain that positioning. It's hard for puppies with their, with their attention spans to hold for a really long time. And then, and then you want to just start expanding the amount of time between rewards slowly, which is what we've been doing. So at first, so we're feeding them, you know, very frequently, every five seconds. And then we bring it up to, you know, 20, and then we're 10, and then 20, and then, you know, up to 30 or 40. Oops. My mistake, I just kind of tossed that. Good boy. Place. So you can walk away. I've turned my back on him. I'm just over here on my little, this is my little treat station. Um, but I could go over and like, I'm going to turn on my coffee maker. I'm going to like push some buttons on my microwave. Oops, and if he gets up, I'll put him back. Hey, place. And those are the kinds of things that I'm practicing so that he gets used to just like regular everyday movements from people. Excuse me, there's no goodies for you to find. And if he gets up, I just put him back. I'll just walk back over to the bed, wait till he lays down, and then I'll walk away again. He's kind of struggling with me walking behind the island right now, so I'm going to practice that a little bit. Back up. You know, I know he can do it. He thinks that there's a tree that might be something over here. So when I'm not watching, he's kind of going in. There we go. Good boy. I'm just promoting nice, calm behavior around the house. So you'll find if you have a flatbed like this that he'll just he'll just run and lay on it. He's outside with some women. Is he going? Just walking around. Oh. I thought he was moving. He's sitting. We don't get treats for that. We only get treats for laying down. Good boy. Make sure those elbows are on the ground. Um, and another thing that we practice with our place is opening the front door. So if I'm, I, I generally have a couple of mats like this. I'll leave them around the house just to practice on. So um, you have one here in the kitchen, which is a nice spot to have it. Um, and then and then we'll also have one near the dining room table. And then I'll usually have one in the front entrance here. So uh, he's fairly close right now. So uh, we'll practice having someone knock on the door and come to the door. So even my dad's worked at that. Quiet! And then, so I'll go over and feed him for holding that.
So it, we're, we're, when I'm practicing that exercise, generally I'll leave him loose, and then I'll have Raiden come up and knock on the door. Um, but having him hold his place while I open it is good too. Just good practice for door manners. Right down. The other dog's barking, right? He's doing okay with that. Good boy. <laughs>